my goodness. That was quite the task. Moving this heavy box down here into my inner sanctuary, my sewing space. Welcome to my sewing room. This is the nucleus of my sewing sanctuary where all the magic happens. So welcome inside. I'm sitting right in the middle of the floor, right in the middle of the floor of the room, where I typically have my cutting table set up right along here where I do the filming for my videos. But I move the old table off to the side for now to make room for the new. And so that's what we're going to be doing on today's video. I'm going to be unboxing several new supplies that I purchased for the sewing space. So welcome if you're new here. My name is Rebecca and I love to sew. I love to upcycle. I love to design. I love to refashion. I love to make. Hey, I just love to create. <laughs> so my channel is all about all things related to garment construction, pretty much. My obsession with making beautiful clothing. So if that's something that you're interested in, please subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you get the little notification <laughs> when I upload new videos. Welcome to my channel, Tribeca Design. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this big baby opened. So here's the first item I'm going to be unboxing on today's video. It is an adjustable height cutting table. And these are the dimensions for the table. This is going to um, save some stra stress I've been putting on my back because I've had a lower table that I've been bending down over, which is no good. So I'm super, super excited to get this up and running. Let's open her up. Okay, here's the inside of the table. And wow, I'm impressed so far. That's pretty nice looking. Ooh, it's got a nice thickness to it. I love the fact that it already has these like measure measurements on it in centimeters and inches. It has some design lines on it as well. Um, I probably am still going to purchase um, a new cutting mat because I don't want to ruin the surface of this. But wow, it, it has a very substantial um, weight to it, the boards for this table. Oh. oh boy. Okay, here comes the real work, you guys. Wheels with rollers that I love. I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. keep going here first I need a sandwich I'm hungry I need a sandwich okay ladies now it's time to have some real fun girls with power tools rock Okay, friends, I did it. I completed this table all by myself. It's upside down. Now I need muscle. I'm going to have to go grab my hubs to help me lift it up and turn it over on the right side. But it took me about three and a half hours. So, yeah, it can be done with one person except at the end when it's time to flip it over. 
Wow, friends, look at that. <laughs> we just flipped the table. And the final installation is these baskets. They go here underneath. You keep all kinds of little crafty bits in them. There's one on the opposite end too. So they do go the width of the table. And then these little pegs right here keep them from coming all the way out. When you open the drawer, Oh yes, that's wonderful. And then there is a shelf here on the bottom. Now I just need to go ahead and bring this side of the table up. Okay, I'm just going to raise the table up in its fully extended position. Voila. Okay, friends, I'm really excited to have this completed, <laughs> but I must say I'm quite exhausted after two and a half. I think I said three and a half earlier. It was more like two and a half minus all the filming faux pas. Um, but yeah, two and a half hours is really what it took. So I will provide the name of this product in the description box because I don't have Amazon affiliate links yet. So at least you'll have the name of it so that you know how to look it up on Amazon if you're interested in buying this. So far, I would say I totally recommend it. One other thing that Amazon did do is schedule delivery for this table. And the guys who brought it in, they actually brought it in my home. They were very nice. <sighs> hey everyone, it's the next day. <laughs> I'm rested now. I've recuperated from all the labor of putting that table together. Today's Friday, so happy Friday Sews. So I'm just going to jump right in and just go through some of these things um, that I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to start with an item that I have already unboxed. Don't even know where the box is. And so here it is. And a lot of you probably already have something like this because you're a lot more tech savvy than I am. I'm an analog girl living in a digital world as Miss Erica Badu would say but um yeah this little apparatus right here I've already used a couple of times um my cell phone fits right into here in this little space right here this light works once it's charged but I need to charge it it's got a little button will it come on oh yay see this little button right there give me some extra light and it extends quite far you keep extending it and you get a little surprise at the end <laughs> um it stands on its own and it it's um really good for like when i'm out in the the thrift shops and i want to like film myself thrift store shopping hey y'all it's thrifty becky so yeah <laughs> this um has turned out to be a cool little gadget and you know i'm super excited about all this tech because um yeah, I'm not technical savvy. I'm an artist. I'm a textile artist, okay? So I am discovering all of these really cool things that are out there. Um, and which the more you push it back together, the legs automatically retract. They usually don't pop together like that. Ugh. I hope I didn't break something. Wow. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> there you have it. Um, so yeah, I just put this in my purse and go on my little thrift store, um, you know, excursions. And yeah, this is, um, it gets a lot more, uh, footage. It covers a lot more <clears throat> area behind me than just holding my cell phone up. You guys know the deal. Okay. So this is the next item that I purchased. It is a cell phone stand. And I have taken it out of the box because I wanted to see how it was going to work. This is what it looks like. Um, you can curve and bend this into any shape that you like. Your cell phone goes right in there. And then I love this part right here. Um, it has an adjustable handle right there that you can open this up and clip this on the end of the table. So um, I'm hoping maybe this will come in handy in terms of helping me 
uh, position my camera to film um, here on the table. So I'm super excited about this. Now you guys know we have to buy new scissors. <laughs> I've been wanting a pair of gold shears. And so, yeah, I just found these on Amazon. And they have a really substantial weight to them. They're pretty heavy. And um, they're just beautiful. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little carried away on how things look. That being said, they cut like a dream. Um, let's see. I have gotten all my my sewing room all cleaned up and my scraps are gone in the scrap bin. But I'll try and demonstrate here. Yes, did you hear that? Nice, clean cut. Um, and it goes through heavy fabrics really, really well. You guys know I like to do quilted items. I like to sew with quilted materials and, um... I use these when I made that last quilted outfit. I cut through with these and they did this actually did a better job than my rotary cutter. And you guys know I love my rotary cutter. But yeah, um these are gonna go right over here. And so those will not be getting returned. <laughs> and I have more scissors crazy on, on the scissors because it's just been a long time since I purchased really good tailor scissors. I've been, um, like I say, using my rotary cutter. And so, oh, here, here is the um, box that those came in. Pro Shear Professional 10 Each Fabric Sewing Scissors. Now, I really like it when they specify that um, something is made for us sewing gals, seamstress so it's whatever you want to call it. So here are those. And they're black and gold. Now the thing that concerns me here, I've never received a pair of scissors that have oil on them. You see how there's oil on the top of those scissors? And it did come um, with a cleaning rag. They, they, are, they were stored in this little plastic uh, tubing here. And it kind of worries me that they need to be oiled from time to time. Because I mean, that's a hazard to my fabric projects so I won't be oily my scissors I hope that they won't rust or anything like that but oh my gosh you talk about listen <laughs> these are doggone professional um I love these I've used them and um yeah I, they're really a good weight as well and I like how they have like this rubberish uh like non-slip grip situation on, on the part that you put your fingers through. So, yeah, I'm really excited to have these. Black and gold is kind of, black, gold, and white is kind of a, the theme, uh, the color theme with, with little pops of jade from Mother Jade and pink from my pink swivel chairs, which I'll show you guys. I'll do a whole sewing room tour in the near future. I'm waiting on a couple more things to come through before I do that. But um, just a few little enhancing tools I purchased that I'm super excited about. You know, it's the little things. Um, so in terms of scissors, I needed another pair of nips. I've got now three sewing machines uh, set up over here on my station. I've got Mama Jade. I've got my brother uh, that's a serger. And then I have my what I call my big brother, my old brother xr65 it really was retired i brought him out of retirement <laughs> when i started sewing on some of the quilted garments um because you know mother jade she just she wasn't ready for all that so yeah um i'm happy to have these i'll set these by um one of my sewing machines i have a pair can y'all oh yeah you can see i can have a pair i have a pair here next to a mother jade that i like to keep here so i'll probably donate these new ones to my big brother over there. Maybe that'll make him feel a little bit better about me dragging him out of retirement. <laughs> okay, what's next? Oh, I'm super excited about this next thing. I purchased this wool ironing mat. 17 by 24. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. 
yeah, 17 by 24 wool mat. And I'm super excited about this because I have been wanting to do some pressing on my actual table without going over to the ironing board. And I would like to be able to demonstrate uh, some of that pressing when I do my projects. But this next item, I kind of went big and splurged on this. You know, irons are really expensive these days. And the iron that I have, it's showing signs of wear and tear. I mean, I've used it for a lot of projects through the years. I've had it for quite a few years. I don't remember, eight plus years. And um, it's just ready to, you know, be donated. So here is the box that it came in. It's a Panasonic. It is black and gold and it is a cordless iron so it has this base the base plugs but the iron itself and then it's really cute it comes in this little i like this little like bag situation <laughs> they've got this in uh sorry for the glare from the the ring light but yeah this is a really uh good um traveling iron i think like if you were gonna go somewhere and and work on some extensive sewing projects. You could take this along with you. So the lid popped right off. And this is what the iron looks like. And I'm looking at this, and does this look gold to you guys? It's not true gold. It's actually, wow, I don't even know if it's fully metallic, but, um, hmm. If it is gold, it's like an antique gold. But yeah, there that's what it looks like. Oh, I feel like I need to turn the light off because of the glare. But it's a nice weight, not too heavy. It's a nice size. Um, so I need to test this out and see how it performs. I did notice on some of the reviews, people were saying that it didn't hold the heat as long as they wanted it to so I need to go ahead and hurry up and um, test this out in case I need to return it so yeah this is the base that I was talking about that actually plugs into the wall um, but the actual iron I will be able to move anywhere in the room they say you can like steam with this too you can use you know, like you know your drapes and everything so we'll see um, how well this performs. I have a real good professional steamer, so I have something really good that I can compare this to. But uh, it sure is attractive, and I hope that it performs well when I plug it in. Okay. Um, next up, I know you guys have probably seen these. I was in Joann's. I didn't order this from Amazon. But they had this on clearance uh, at the end of the year. And I was like, oh my, I really need something to put all of my little, you know, little sewing bits, crafty bits in. I need a little bit more organization. I have some pretty old storage bins. And so I think it's ready to, uh, I'm, <laughs> I think I needed to upgrade a little bit. So, um, okay, so here is the, um, case I was trying to show you all and I love all the different colors that it has all of the colors of God's rainbow and yeah I just have space now for all my little you know crafty units I love this I love good organization and so wow I'm just Super happy to have this. Got all my little trinkets and thinkets and stuff here. So yeah, you get the picture, you get the point. I know. It's just a little stuff like this that just make your sewing journey even more pleasurable. Okay, going back to this wool pressing mat here. It came with a sunglass case. I'm not sure why. Um, it would have been nicer if they would have given me one of those little silicone uh, iron rust. But you all remember when I did my thrift haul, my sewing thrift haul, I found this. 
I had my cordless iron in mind when I purchased this. So I think it's gonna be a really good rest for my cordless iron when I'm doing my work here on the table. I like how it doesn't sit directly on the um, wool. You can see I haven't even opened it yet, but it's got this nice little um, ridge. And so that doesn't sit you know, there's some space is what I'm trying to say between the the iron plate and um, this little um, protector here. So that's pretty cool. And I am ready to make. <laughs> I love this table. I'm so thrilled about having this table. Now I can do my cutting without bending my back. So yeah, you guys, thank you for enjoying all of my new supplies with me. So be sure and come back and continue joining me on my sewing journey here on Tribeca Designs. Peace and love.